Hello fellow humans, Chris here again. I uh, wanted to share a kind of funny story that I experienced and I thought it was uh, a, good, a good reminder, a good lesson. Uh, so uh, I had a work virtual uh, conference set up uh, that I was supposed to go to. And uh, the conference was for seven o'clock. So I arranged my evening um, and so that I'd be able to make it back in time for the seven o'clock virtual work meeting. About 10 minutes before five o'clock, uh, one of my colleagues texts me, reminding me, hey, we got that meeting at five in 10 minutes. You know, he's making sure I don't forget to log in. I'm like, crap, I was certain it was at seven. Um, so I go back to the message to double check and read the message and sure enough five o'clock right oh my god okay so gather my stuff together i'm gonna have to kind of rearrange things but i need to make sure i'm at this meeting so the good thing about zoom is uh you don't have to actually get in the car and go anywhere um, so got my stuff and sat down and went to get logged in and if you if you're not familiar with with Zoom, you know you put in uh, you put in the passcode and uh, and then the, uh, for the meeting, and then there's a, a password to get into the meeting. And I'm sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting. They're gonna they're gonna let me in. It's five past five, ten past five, fifteen minutes past five. Um, and I'm and my colleague and I were texting like, what's going on? We're not getting. They're still have they let you in? No, they haven't let me in. No. Um, and then they text me again after about fifteen minutes of waiting, and they're like. Oh crap, I misread it. It's six. It starts at six. And I go back and look at the message again and I see, yes, it is six. So I was certain that it was at, at seven. He was certain that it was at five. And when he told me it was at five, I went and looked at the message and I read six o'clock as five. So <laughs> I thought... It was such a it was such a funny story because there was a lot of unconscious unintentional assuming going on um, for whatever reason something had implanted in me that that it was at seven once it was um, implanted to the other person that it was indeed at five and they were sure of that the confidence of sharing that with me implanted that as a reality to me. And uh, ultimately, I, I thought it was a good reminder that oftentimes uh, the truth uh, is, can be obscured by all kinds of biases and assumptions that none of us are immune to. Um, and, and I kind of was kicking myself and I, was just, I thought it was incredible that I could look at the number six and read five because that's what I was looking for. And uh, I think it's just a good to be aware of that, that that exists, that those biases and, and um, prejudices and th those, those inferences kind of exist and they absolutely can, um, can control what we interpret. And I think the key is to just be aware of that, that that exists. And uh, that's the best way to steer clear of, its, uh, of, of the wrath of confirmation bias. So anyway, um, I, will, uh, I will check in with you all again soon. I hope you're having a great day. And uh, remember, don't be afraid to question the consensus.